So this is my experience, some tips, and some suggestions for taking the PE test. Now, I took the PE test, the civil engineering portion, in Michigan a few years ago. Um, now, if you're super smart, you might just need one thing, and that's this. Everybody calls it the Lindeberg book. It's kind of like a big dictionary. It has everything in it, but nothing in great detail. It has uh, equations and different concepts, but nothing really specific. If you're super smart, this is maybe all you need. Now, for a lot of people, uh, this might not be enough. You might need that and some example problem tests. So there's booklets like this, which have uh, sample questions in it. You can go through and there's a couple for each section. Even more is you could find other sample tests. You can go back, not just the ones provided by NCEES, so these are ones directly through NCEES. When you sign up for the test, they'll probably have it in there and they're 30, 40 bucks to buy them. Um, but there are more example tests you can find with example problems. Those are key, you're finding real world problems. That's the key is finding real questions and examples that are gonna be on the test. So there's lots of other ones like this. Again, I wouldn't suggest buy those big five million example problems. You want specific ones that are gonna be on the test. And I'll talk more about that later. You want you want to know what questions are gonna be on the test. So you're not just gonna buy a general book, you wanna buy a specific book that shows those questions. Now the next level after you've got the Lindenberg book and some example problems is actual video of classes and lectures and even more example problems and slides. And there's two free ones that I saw online years ago. One is the Texas A&M 62 hour. It has slides, it has example problems, it has a teacher going through them all. It was from 1995, but it was really pretty good and went over a lot of good problems. So I printed all those slides out. I watched the video with it a couple times and you're just going through and you can separate it into hydraulics, economics, all the different sections of the test. Again, this one isn't super specific, but it gives you a good overall general idea. If you have one of these binders at school or work where you, the old school binders where you punch the, the square holes in it, and then you um, use these metal clasps because you're gonna be rearranging and organizing these. You're not just gonna do it once. I made that mistake with this one. You can see this is a bind that I did at Kinko's or something and I wanted to change it, but you can't. So this binder is fixed forever and, and you can't really adjust it. But this one is another free test uh, and set of videos and slides. And it was from ASCE. And this was two hour videos and kind of the same thing. It's not really specific. It's a good general overview of everything that goes over all the different sections to kind of get you in the right mindset. There's structural analysis, strength materials, structural design, hydraulics, hydrology. Again, a good overview. And I separated these by tabs and I went through and I wrote right in this book when I was reviewing it to circle things and highlight things and say, you know, this is going to be on the test, stuff like that. So these are two good free videos, slides, and examples where teachers and professors are going through and showing you general problems on the test. This helped. Now, the last two things that really helped me a lot were one is making a big index, like a spreadsheet of everything I studied. So I did it on Google Sheets, and you're just making a big spreadsheet separating everything because on the test, you need to know, okay, this is a problem about stress-strain curve. You need to be able to find that example or equation quickly. And for me, that was making a big index, either separated by section or separated alphabetically. So if it said stress-strain, I could go down and find stress-strain, and I could quickly find four good examples. That's the key. You want to be able to find an example quickly. So you could show up with a thousand books, but if you can't find it quickly, it doesn't matter. you got to have a couple good books. So... During the test, I rarely used this book. If I went to this book, I was probably in trouble, or I hopefully just needed a quick equation. This book is like kind of your last hope for finding something. You Ideally, you want to see the example and say, I've seen that example uh, question before. I've gone through it. Where is it? Find it in your index. Find the book it was in. Oh yeah, it was in that uh, ASCE example. Oh, here it is. Here's the equation. Here's the problem. Here's how I can solve it. And for me, making that index, when I was sitting down and making that index, that helped a ton because I was kind of reviewing the problem. I was going through the books and saying, okay, this is a, a, a morning geotechnical question and 
it's I would go through it and I would put it in the index and I would say what it was about and what it was solving for. So that was like a review. And then when I studied for the school of PE type of stuff, that was another review. So just making that index helped the day of the test and it helped to study. And with example problems, you might have a problem in your book that's exactly like the test, but one's in pounds and foot and one's in kilonewton per meters. So you want to have different variations. And again, when I made the index, I put in units, what it's solving for. So that really helps to break it down. If, if I found two example problems and one was kilonewtons per meter, I would find that example. And for that index, you can have an overall index separated by section, category, alphabetically. It's nice to also put it in each section of, so I have some more example problems here, and I have construction AM. So when you're taking the morning construction, I have those separated here. So I have the index sorted for everything, and then for each section. So geotech, I have it broken down. So if I know I'm just taking the morning part of the test, and it's in structures, I can just sort through here. I don't have to look through everything. I don't have to look through everything. I can just sort it by which section I'm in. So really you want to compartmentalize things. You want to say, am I taking the morning, the afternoon? Am I taking structures? I want to break it all down so I can find that example and refresh my brain and find that equation as fast as possible. Now, the last tip, uh, I'm going to give is it worked great for me. Maybe not everybody needs it, but I did sign up for a class. So they're not cheap and there's all different types of classes. Um, the one I signed up for was really good. It was really specific. It gave me great examples. I don't think I would have passed without it. It was called School of PE. Now, you don't have to sign up for that class. I don't even know if it's still around. Um, but a specific class like that and it had a couple of things that really were good number one there were videos where the professor was showing you examples and people were able to ask questions so similar questions that you might have you could take the live session or you can watch the videos afterwards and they went through the problems. so it's not just like here's some example problems it says it was a professor a person that took the test the past year he said I've taken this test four times and this test this question was on the test every time that's what you need to know he's he'll say this was on the p.m. part of the test it's been on there four years in a row here's how to solve it and that's what you really need so for that they give you sheets you can watch videos and that was great for me too because it's hard sometimes if you if you don't have a lot of time or you're busy or you've got stuff going on to sit down and study for several hours at a time but if you have a video playing so it really set my schedule of how I was gonna study I didn't just kinda have to wing it I could say okay I have 40 videos I'm gonna watch two or three a week and that'll give me a week before the test I can review everything and they tell you along the way okay you should be a couple weeks out from the test now and it really helped me personally kind of organize things and having that video playing while I was studying I could watch it and then they went through example problems and that really helped having it was kind of like being in a class with a professor where that person was going through here's how to solve it and you can kind of follow along so again like the other sections I uh, on the front I have AM and PM construction um, notes and solutions so they showed the notes how to do it and then actual example problems it was kind of both they were giving you the theory and then examples and again, I have it broken down. AM, PM, geotech, structural, water, economics. I have all of the examples where they are in the front. And then for each section, I have it broken down like this, construction, PM, just that. And again, alphabetically, I can say, you know, bolts, boring log, borrow pit, building cost, bulkhead. I could go through, read the problem and say, okay, it's a problem about bulkhead. I could find that where it is in this book. When I watched the videos to prepare for the test, I had this open and I was writing down in here, putting my notes in the book, circling it, saying this is on the test or this is what you need. So I'm marking this up and this is what I had on the test. And again, I had that binder with that, that rearrangeable binder where you can put it in and pull the lever and it opens up and you can take sheets out, put sheets in rearrange things how you want it. The last thing that kind of came with that school of PE test but uh, is also different is a bunch of references. So 
there's some conversions and welding symbols and bolts and OSHA. They always say bring reference books. You don't want to bring a thousand books. You don't want to bring an OSHA book for one possible problem that might be on there. But you can print out a section. I'm printing four per page. You know, you don't need a big, thick 400 page book just for one possible OSHA problem. But you can print four sheets per page, and if you need it, you have it. So the references, and again, in a class, they might say, you need this reference. Here's a PDF that you might need. You only need these few sheets. So that's another key thing to have. You need to be concise and organized on the test. You don't want to have 100 books. You don't want to have 100 references. Really, when you're doing this, you want to have one binder out. You want to have one sheet, one example problem that you're following off of. If you're trying to look through four different examples, you're going to take too long. You might want to have if it's a question about a definition or a reference you're looking up, you want to have one reference book. You don't want to have three different books out and trying to find everything and your test is in, in a sea of books. You want to have one reference book, one example. Maybe you look it up in an index you have and say, oh, it's in this example problem test. You can find it in there. So staying organized the day of the test is key and having a schedule to study for the test. Again, when I took the class, I said, okay, I have so many videos. I'm gonna go through all these. They're two hours long. I'm gonna watch you know, three or four a week. It was great when the professor said, this is on the test. You need to know this one. And a lot of times it was. You're not seeing a problem for the first time. You're saying, I've already solved that several times. I know exactly where it is. You could go to it in the binder, find it, open up that example problem, set it right next to the test and say, okay, oh, it's a little bit different and you can figure it out. You shouldn't be seeing a problem for the first time on the test because you're gonna spend way too much time to figure out the answer. Paying for a class is not cheap. They range from a few hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. I think the School of PE test was around a thousand dollars at the time, which is not cheap. However, number one, I wouldn't have passed without it. I wouldn't have passed just having example problems or just the Lindbergh book. I wouldn't have passed without taking a class like that. Number two, once you pass, you're probably going to get, you know, you're going to get a PE license. You're probably going to get a raise or a lot of companies give you a bonus when you pass. So immediately that's going to pay for itself and you're going to probably get a raise to get paid more. It's paid for itself several times over. Um, and I think uh, for the class I took, they said, if you don't pass after paying for it, you can continue to take this class for free over and over. There's different types of classes you can take online. Some might be 200 bucks. I, I don't know if they're good or not. The one I took, I read a lot of reviews before I just signed up for one. Um, a lot of people that said there were definitely really good professors showing you how to do the problems, videos that were two hours long for each section and they showed you the exact type of problem that was on the test, which worked for me. So you gotta have the right books and references, maybe videos, you gotta have a schedule and organizing saying, okay, the couple months leading up to the test, I'm gonna do this, this, and this and prepare for it. And then the day of the test, you wanna have just a condensed uh, booklet of what you need on the test so you're not overwhelmed with information. So I hope this helps, thanks. So here we are back at the computer and these are all the files that I had saved in preparation for the test, whether they be reference material that I brought to the test, whether it be videos and PDFs of something I studied for the test. This is the index that I used to um, find the problems on the day of the test. Here's the school of PE, all the PDFs and videos that they gave me. Here's an ASCE two hour test which had videos and PDFs. Similarly, here's an older Texas A&M, 62 hours of videos and PDFs that they went through in preparation to study for the test. Here are some example exams that I either downloaded or found online or scanned from books. And here's reference material. So if they said you're going to need a certain reference book on the test, an OSHA manual, for, for example, I didn't want to bring the actual book. I just found the PDF and brought that. So let's go through everything. Um, First, I'm going to start with the School of PE because I think that's the best one. It had the most comprehensive questions on there. So what they gave you was PDFs, and there's three types. There's the refresher notes, the workshop problems, and the workshop solutions. 
so for each section so that's water the refresher notes was kind of like a uh, textbook where you could go through and they would give you uh, the definitions and how how things were calculated and things like that not really example problems per se just the concepts the next things were the workshop problems and this is where you could go through and try to solve these yourself so it would say problem and it would give you a type of problem that was on the test again this is important these are the types of problems that were on the test and you could go through and try to solve them then they had workshop solutions and this is those same problems with the answers highlighted now using that I used the school of PE videos you could go to water resources and this is where an instructor would show you how to do these problems yes, the last so I would go through and the teacher would actually show you how to solve these problems. They would mark up the plan, they would highlight it, circle things, and show you how to solve these, where the tricks are, where they try to trip you up on the test. They would say things like, this is on the test, or this might be a different, different type of units. So this is where the teacher would actually show you how to solve the test, and you could go through it with your PDFs. Not quite as good, is, but it's free, was the ASCE two hours. Same thing where they would have PDFs that you could open up and follow along. You would have this open as the teacher would go through and show you how to, how to answer them. Kind of like sitting in a refresher test or an example class where a teacher would show you how to do this. These were great to just follow along so you're not trying to learn it on your own. Again, not quite as good, but this is the Texas A&M 62-hour um, class. Again, this was free online when I took it. And same thing, there would be PDFs. These weren't quite as good or quite as polished as the other ones. But these are example problems that you would go through. And they have the videos for them as well. And it's a teacher, and he would go through and show you how to answer all these problems. Again, this wasn't quite as good as the other two, but it was still worth watching. Next are the um, exams. Now, some of these were exams that I scanned myself. For example, this is an exam booklet that I purchased, and I scanned all the problems just to have it. So I had all the problems here, and in the back are all the solutions. Again, here's, here's another older exam. Um, same thing it has this is a booklet you can buy we scanned it and it has all the problems and solutions and I have exams from 2000 2008 2011 2014 and 15 here's another book you can see I purchased it and we scanned everything that's my handwriting that I wrote in there and I went through and tried to answer all the problems so I had the booklet but I also had it scanned in case I needed to print it and put it in a binder so these are all the different practice mornings, afternoons. I took afternoon construction, so it, so it was good to have the PM construction or transportation, things like that. And there was a lot of um, example problems that you can get online for free. So there would be, you know, um, let me find a good one. So a lot of these places would give example problems. So it might only be five or six or 10 questions to show what would be in the book. I downloaded all those and put them in there as well. So everything I could find, example tests, I would I would put in here. Here again, this is a, something we found online. It said sample exam, and it was a five or six questions. Throw that in there and try to solve them. Even NCES, they gave out you know every couple weeks when you sign up for the test, they would say, hey, here's some example uh, practice exams from our practice booklet. I would download those put them in there and I remember this one something like this was on the test so that's the key finding problems that are going to be on the test that you can practice solving and save and find during the test to reference them and before I get to the references let me go to the index so the index is what I created this is the spreadsheet of every example problem alphabetically so I went through and put uh, the keyword which book it's in uh, sorry here, which section of the test it's in, which book it's in, which page. So if I found a question and it was about, I don't know, you know, if I saw a problem and it said using the Hayes and Williams loss coefficient, 
I could say, okay, it's in the Hydraulics ASCE 2 hour class, here's what page it's on. If there's something about a horizontal curve or horizontal distance, you can see all the different problems I had here. Oh, it's in the transportation section, this exam. So creating this spreadsheet helped me study for the test and it also gave me something like an index on the day of the test. And I sorted it once I had this overall index into these different books. So I sorted it by school of PE construction, different uh, exams, the ASCE two hour into the different sections. And that's what all these PDFs are up here. So for school of PE, I sorted it into each different section. So when I knew I was in that section on the test, if I wanted to find something about coefficient of curvature, or coefficient of gradation, I could come here and say it's on page N8 and I could quickly find it. This was key being able to find the problem. You knew you had seen it before. You go in here, you say, you know what the keyword is, you know, the penetration or standard penetration test. I could go in here and say, it's, it's in this booklet, it's on this page. Being able to find it, that was key, making this index of where everything is. Because you might have an example test, but if you can't find the example problem, it doesn't help you. So I made indexes for all these different tests. So I have all the tests, I have all the, the things to study with here. And then last I had references. So a lot of people would bring books to the test. So they might bring this type of manual, it might be a book that they have sitting on their test. The key is to keep your desk clear of clutter. So if you only needed a certain section, maybe you can find that online. So maybe you can find this certain OSHA accident report form and you need that for the test, just find the PDF and print that out. Maybe you need an OSHA book. Instead of bringing this book to the test, just print out what section you need, print it off, you know, four to a page, one, two, three, four, and bring that to a test in the binder. You know, here's, I knew I had a problem on crane hand signals. This came up on the test. So just print out that one sheet, put that in a binder. So you don't want to bring the entire booklet to the test. Just print out what section you need, ASE design load. So just Find the PDF, print that out, put it in a binder so you can find the definition um, if you need it. So this was all in one big binder, that large binder. These are all the references I had. So these are just all the files that I had saved and I printed some of them. I studied with some of them. Again, these ones in the middle, the ASE 2 hour, the, the 62 hour Texas A&M and the, especially the School of PE. Those are the things I printed off, it had example problems and I studied. And I use those example problems on the test. Here are the exams that I practice the exams, references, and the index. So these were the files that I had on the computer.